Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. My name is Diana and today I have with me Kyle Barton. Kyle Barton is a co-owner of Loma Homes, which is a short-term rental experience company. And we are super excited to be here with you today. Kyle is going to be one of our presenters at our Cash Flow Investing Summit in Tempe next month. Kyle, where are you calling in from today? Um, so I'm in Utah, uh, just south of Salt Lake. Oh, super fun. How's the weather there today? <laughs> Pretty cold, right? Uh, nice there? and snowy. Yeah, we've been getting mm -hmm. dumped on with snow. So it's been a good excuse to get out and play in the mountains a little bit. That's awesome. You mentioned you were going skiing yesterday, right? With your son? Yeah. Yep. My little five-year-old is his first time, first real time going. So we, we spent a lot of time on the bunny hill, but <laughs> there's, <laughs> oh, there's lots sounds, of good snow. That sounds amazing. We yeah, have it was, it was uh, one of our Facebook guests said they're really excited to hear tips on having themed short-term rentals. Yeah. So little bit about Kyle. He has owns Loma Homes, which they create these incredible short-term rental experiences. What's your favorite Airbnb that you have? Oh man, that's a good question. Um, yeah, so we have we have a few themed homes. Um, man, they're all good. One of my favorites is our most recent ones. To be honest, it's the um, it's a castle themed house and. Um, we, we have four of our super themed homes. They're all in Orlando, um, set up to attract families going to the theme parks, essentially, right? And so we have different themes. We have a galaxy theme, um, a wizard's theme, dinosaur, and uh, castle princesses, like all that kind of stuff. And I feel like with each project, we just learned things along the way that we were able to incorporate into the others. So by this last one that we've done, I feel like we kind of nailed the process. and. Um, <laughs> I, I love the house. I, I love um, everything we did about it. Um, but they're all good and, and, and everyone loves them for different reasons. So, Yeah, that's incredible that you've been able to add so many short term rentals to your portfolio. Yeah, yeah, it's been a, a work in progress and uh, something we've we, we've done real estate for about nine years. When I say we, my wife and I, and um, we've We've just met some incredible people along the way, met, met some good partners and, and kind of jumped in with um, operating partners as well as investor partners who helped us scale to a level higher than we could do on our own. And, and we still have a long way to go. So that's kind of what, our, what we're working on. Yeah, it's all about your network. I was recently yep. started listening to Atomic Habits. So I know a lot of people mentioned that that's a really good book that they recommend. And one part that really stuck out to me was this quote, proximity has a powerful effect on our behavior. We pick up habits from the people around us. And you mentioned finding these people who have helped you be able to develop the systems you need, but also just being around other driven real estate professionals helps you reach and aim higher too, which is one reason why I'm really excited that you're coming to the Cashflow Investing Summit, just to be around so many brilliant minds and learn from you is such a great opportunity. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited for the same reason. That's where I get my motivation is just being around other people. And I'm sure many, many people in this group can relate to the, I mean, just the, the amount of work that goes into building your own portfolio, your own investments, even one, one single property, like there's a lot of processes that you have to learn and, and go through and um, being able to rub shoulders with people who have done that before has made all the difference. And for me, it's motivating, you know, it pulls me out of the office. It, uh, for, you know, it can be, it can be hard. It can be lonely sometimes to, to be doing this. You feel like you're grinding all the time. And, and so getting in an environment like that around other people, to me, it, it makes all the difference. Yeah, exactly. And I'm really excited for your presentation as well. You're going to be talking about maximizing revenue through short-term rentals. So what's a sneak peek that you could give us? What's one of your tips for maximizing revenue? Yeah, so I'm really excited to share. I feel like the vacation rental, short-term rental industry, you know, there's there's all these people posting about it on TikTok and social media, right? Like how, how great it is. And all I did was buy this property and I'm making all this money, right? And and yeah, there's great money to be made and, and great revenue to produce there, but there's a lot of things that have to happen there. And so 
my objective at the conference is going to be to give the attendees the tools and resources that they need to go out and feel confident in doing this themselves. We're doing this um, at probably a higher level than most people even have a desire to do, you know, as far as creating funds and bringing in investors and, and doing it at scale. Um, and, and so what I'm going to share is going to work for those people who want to do that and scale their business uh, in a similar fashion. But it's it's really going to be giving everyone the tools and resources to even just do it one time and go do a single property and um, get through that. And if you like it, you can keep mm -hmm. going. And if, if not, you, you know, at least you understand what you're getting into. So, yeah. And one thing I really like about having short term rentals in your portfolio is that you have this really, really nice property. So just a higher value if in your portfolio, uh, one of our Facebook members asked a question: How do you budget for a theme B and B versus a vanilla B and B? Do you start a theme with sourcing or budget? Um, really, it, it all goes down to the data for us, and it, it's all market-driven decisions. And, and we'll get into this more um, in the presentation of how exactly we we pick the themes and the elements that we do. Um, when picking our budget, um, it's part of the overall analysis that we do with, before we even buy the property. You know, how much can we afford to spend to be able to hit the returns that we need to hit um, for both us and for our investors? And so, um, really, the budget question just kind of falls into that. We have a, a formula that we use to kind of give us um, to kind of like a sanity check, right? Of if we can keep numbers within this formula and within this budget, um, we're going to be able to hit the returns that we need. So we can know at that point, okay, let's, we can make that decision. Let's buy it and move forward with it. Um, and so we have internal processes um, that we use to be able to make those decisions. And, and I'll be sharing that with everyone as well. Um, probably too much to get into all the details. here. <laughs> no, that totally makes sense. What do you feel like is a daily habit you have that contributes to your success? Um, for me, it's, it's always learning, um, whether it's reading a little bit from a book or listening to a podcast or listening to a book, even in the car or something, you know, um, always just trying to pull information from other people. Um, I mentioned this a little bit before, but I'm a strong believer that any problem you have, someone else has probably been through it or a thousand other people have already been through it. They've probably written books about it. They've, they're probably talking about it on podcasts. Right. And, and so the information's there, it's just kind of on us to, to go out and chase that and um, take the good pieces and, and leave the rest out. So for me, it's just trying to learn something new every day um, through, mm -hmm. through one of those uh, platforms. Yeah, podcasts and audiobooks are such a great way for us to maximize on our time as we're doing chores or driving around. Such a great resource yeah. that we have access to now. Totally. And then you mentioned learning from others too. That's why I love the community. We have so many investors that have had all these different experiences and are willing to share what they've learned from their mistakes. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's what I love about um, the, this community and, and other similar communities is just the willingness people have to open their themselves up and share their mistakes, share their successes. And um, really you just rub ideas off of each other. And I found that, everyone is more than willing to share ideas like there's there's so much opportunity out there like sharing sharing ideas and strategies it's not going to hurt your business uh, if anything it's going to help you it might open up future partnerships you know and uh, it, it just we've i've found that it, it helps to it helps to help other people and and i'm happy to do it and i i, I feel like most other people have very similar mentalities yeah. And everyone also has different goals and strategies. There are different points in their growth too. So it's not like everyone's a direct competitor. Exactly. But one way opportunities that are coming up for expanding your network and rubbing elbows, learning from other people on Friday at the Cashflow Investing Summit, we do have a networking reception. If you are an ROI Inner Circle member, we'll also have a hike or activity earlier that day. On Saturday, we'll have all the speaker sessions and on Sunday, but on Sunday, we also have a members only lunch. So you also get some more intimate time with our speakers there. Is there anything else you'd like to add or something you're most excited and looking forward to in the new year, Kyle? Man, I um, I just feel like there's a lot of opportunity on the horizon. Um, 
the market is crazy right now. It's very volatile. No one really knows what's going to happen, but uncertainty creates opportunity. And um, frankly, I don't know exactly what that opportunity is going to be or how, how it's going to play out, but I know how it's played out in the past and we can try to replicate similar, uh, similar results to what people have done in the past. And um, that's what we plan to do is, is be at the forefront of those opportunities and, and do it with uh, cool and fun people like yourself. So yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's on, what's on our agenda this year. <laughs> yeah, we have no idea what's going to happen with the market, but there's still no better time to start than now. So really excited that you'll be joining us for the summit in Tempe next month. For those of you who are interested in joining us, our hotel room block does end today. So make sure you hop on that and take advantage of the special rate we have secured for our attendees. Again, thank you so much for your time today, Kyle. We can't wait to see you in Arizona. Yeah, very excited. Thanks, Diana. Awesome. Thanks, Have everyone. a great week, everyone. See you soon.